Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is XV-104. Come in, please. Still no answer, sir. The static is playing havoc with the instrumentation. We can be miles off course. Full procedure. Sir? I said full procedure. We can't be far from the eastern sector. It's losing altitude. Get a cross fix from Broda and check flight control. I already have, sir. It is not one of ours. Crash positions. This is your checklist. It's going to crash. Okay. Get them out of here. Set individual systems go. Eject at will. Now they're all clear. Okay, let's go. Relax it. And you have on three. One, two, three. search for the four nuclear devices lost in the tragic crash of the B-107 last Tuesday has been successfully concluded. A spokesman announced that the last bomb was located early this morning. The fact that the aircraft crashed inside the Arctic Circle just three miles from the eastern sector prevented a major political incident. That's good news. The weather will remain bright. Turn it off, Joe. Today. Yes, Dad. Professor, will you and Joe be in for lunch? Yes, Mrs. Harris. We intend to have a nice, relaxed day. Could we go fishing this afternoon, Dad? Yes, that's a good idea, Joe. That's right, Sam. We'll pick up Joe and the professor at the cottage. It's trouble. Big trouble. It looks like a job for Joe Knighty. There they are. Are you ready, Joe? Yes, Dad. Come on, then. You're not all out, are you, Professor? I've got your lunch already. Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Harris. Uh, we'll stop somewhere on the way and get a sandwich. Sandwiches? Now you make sure you get something hot. All right, Mrs. Harris. Bye. Bye, Mrs. Harris. Goodbye. Always gallivanting off at mealtimes. I don't know what they get up to, I'm sure. <laughs> Well, Professor, Joe, here's the mission. Last Tuesday, an Air Force B-107 bomber was forced down inside the Arctic Circle by a freak storm. 
Yes, it's been widely reported. The point is, that bomber was carrying four nuclear devices. They found them all, Uncle Sam. We heard it on the radio. Three have been located and recovered. The fourth is missing. I see. The crash was only a few miles from the eastern sector. That's why Wynn have taken over. I released that false information for security reasons. Has the ground search been called off? Yes, we realize there's only one place it can be. Where's that, Uncle Sam? On the seabed. It must have gone right through the ice. It's the only explanation. That bomb must be recovered. Is there any danger it'll detonate? That's virtually impossible. But the political implications are enormous. One man has the knowledge and ability to recover that device. He's carried out an extensive underwater survey of the whole area. Dr. William Kelvin. One problem. Dr. Kelvin is nearly 70. He's too old. That's why we need Joe. Uh, yes, gentlemen. I know the area well. You say you're thinking of organizing an underwater Arctic expedition. Yes, Doctor. We'd be glad of any help you could give us. I wish I was 20 years younger. I'd come with you. Uh, mind you don't break anything there, Joe. Uh, what is that instrument your son is playing with, Professor? Well, actually, it's a record and transmitting device. It's going to help us record your brain pattern, Doctor. Record my brain pattern? <laughs> oh, very good. I may be an old man, but I haven't lost my sense of humor. <laughs> now, uh, where was I? Uh, of course, I was on the first expedition to sail right under the pole. Only a boy at the time, but I remember everything as clear as if it was yesterday. The submarine was one of the first nuclear power ships built. It was a great adventure, and it caught the imagination of the world. Big headlines in all the papers. How did I do, Uncle Sam? Just great, Joe. Well, the doctor's a fine old man. He certainly knows his subject. Where to now, Mr. Weston? Back to the cottage, Joe. Get you brained up, and then the real assignment. Find that missing nuclear device. Mr. Weston, the transfer is complete. I'm ready, Mr. Weston. Right. We rendezvous with the Navy icebreaker just inside the Arctic Circle. That will take us to the edge of the pack ice. Now, the B 107 crashed here. Now, we do know there are strong underwater currents in this area, so the device could have been carried further west to this area. What's that? It could be our biggest problem. It's Vostula, the Eastern Alliance base and underwater research center. The mini-sub you'll use, Joe, has a limited range. You'll have to pass close to that base. Let's hope they think we've pulled out and relaxed their radar watch. <laughs> I want the radar watch kept at emergency level. But, sir, the aerial survey confirms all the Western Alliance forces have been pulled back. That's just it. It all happened so quickly. Too quickly. They could well be planning something. 
Right. Prepare the mini-sub. And remember, I want everyone away from the area when it's ready. Okay, Joe, you better get ready. This cabin will be the control room. We'll use transmitters on scramble to maintain contact. Right, Sam. I'll locate that bomb and bring it back. <laughs> Joe 90 to base. Joe 90 to base. Loud and clear, Joe. I am now under the ice. I'll begin vector search west as soon as I reach the crash. Understood, Joe 90. Out. Well, he's on his way. Yes, all we can do now is wait. only three more weeks in this ice box and we will be relieved yes it's been a long tour of duty what's the first thing you're going to do when you reach the mainland <laughs> i got it all worked out nothing uh, to do uh, yes commander then get on with it I found a few pieces of wreckage. The current has carried them a long way west. Listen, Joe. Our sonar radar puts you less than ten miles from Vostula. They could still pick you up on their underwater detection gear. Let me talk to him. Joe, you'd better turn back. If you get into difficulties, we won't be able to help. No chance. I know this seabed like the back of my hand, remember? I'm going to find that bomb. <laughs> Just what I needed. And drink it quick in case the commander decides to come back. He won't. He's probably fast asleep. Base to Joe Knighty, turn back. You're less than eight miles from Vostula. Hold on, Sam. I found a lot more wreckage. The device must be around here somewhere. You know best, Joe, but they must spot you soon. to base. I've located the device. It's lodged in a crack in the rocks, but it shouldn't be too difficult to pick up. Oh, great work, Joe, but don't hang around there longer than you have to. You're wrong. They won. 3-2. It was a 2-0 draw, I tell you. <laughs> Would you like to bet? All right. I don't mind taking your money. A day's pay. You're on. I see. What is it? Look. Get
get the commander down here. Commander, we have an unidentified sonar tracer. It's a positive trace, sir. Range, 7.8 miles. That puts it inside our sector. General alarm. Yes, Commander. Send out the U-18s. Tell them to seek and destroy. This is control to U-18 captains and crews. This is an operational alert. take me a few minutes to free it. Right, Joe. But work as fast as you can. Come on, Joe. What's that? On the screen. There. Two other tracers. And they're heading right for him. Base to Joe 90. We picked up two underwater vehicles about four miles from your position. They're probably enemy killer subs. Get out of there fast. Not till I get what I came for. Out. Just over three miles, still closing. Base to U-18s, I want the intruder found and destroyed. Fire missiles on sight. They're closing fast. Move out, Joe. Just a few more seconds, Sam. She's free! I've got it! Great work, Joe. Now listen, the enemy are less than a mile from you. Your only chance is to use your knowledge of the underwater terrain to outmaneuver them. Don't worry, Sam. That's just what I'm going to do.
We're right on top of him. Joe 90 to control. I'm in an underwater cave. They know I'm here somewhere and they're still searching. Listen, Joe. Your air supply is getting critical. You'll have to make a move soon. I know the situation, Sam. I'm going to try something. Sam? Yeah, you certainly have, Joe. You can return to base. You did a great job. Thanks, Uncle Sam. Mr. Weston, the Vostula base commander is no fool. That message he radioed to the ship sounded as if he means to start trouble. Yes, he can't prove a thing, but he can put two and two together. What do you intend to do? I've invited him aboard. You've done what, Chief? Yes, I think we'll just have a little talk and see if we can pick his brains. I think his brain pattern could come in mighty useful one of these days. What do you think, Joe? I think you're a... a winner, Mr. Weston. Joe. A winner? Oh, oh, that's right. W-I-N, winner. <laughs> very good. That's very good, Joe, yeah. <laughs>